to uh, another edition of Mark and Dave's Lifting the Lid. I'm Mark. And I'm Dave. We are changing the format slightly today because um, rather than have a specific product that we're going to lift the lid on, we kind of wanted to have like a reviews edition because lately, in fact currently, we've got a number of our products out for review and the reviews have just recently been published. but. What we want to do is tell you about them and then in the coming weeks we're going to lift the lid on a number of these items uh, for your perusal and of course your pleasure. So to start off with, um, we have uh, on an online resource that many of you I'm sure have heard and that is Six Moons. We have one, two, three uh, current reviews active on Six Moons. And the first one we're going to quickly talk about is by Crayon and it is the CIA 1T. Yep. Um, great review, so if you go onto Six Moons website, if you click on the review section and in the current reviews you will find the following products that are there. We'll quickly go through these. The Crayon CIA 1T, Integrated Amplifier, the Audio Valve, German Manufacturer, the Baldur 300 Valve Monoblocks, mm -hmm. the Less Loss Echoes End Reference DAC, uh, there's also the Audio Zen Lysios power, power amp. amplifier. So yes, quickly, first of all, the Crayon. Um, CIA1T integrated amp, it's Crayon's most powerful amplifier. And yeah, there's some nice features on it. In fact, we have it uh, on, uh, you can't see it of course, because it's actually behind the camera, but uh, by the magic of uh, John Reed's editing skills, no doubt he will have popped up a picture of the CIA1T for you right now. Um, very quickly, it's effectively a straight wire design. Yeah, it's one of these amps that, again, the designers have gone back to this idea of just taking the the raw signal and amplifying it with as little components and circuitry in the mix uh, before it hits the output stage. And it uses something called a C current feedback design, which, from what I've read and something what we've heard here in the Elite Audio showroom is this amp is fast. I mean, it is crazy fast. Rhythm and timing are excellent. There's a rightness about the sound. And I know that's kind of a, an ambiguous statement to make, but when the human brain is very attuned to small changes in rhythm and timing, and we, we pick up on it very quickly. And this is why when you hear a sound, and you've probably got this in your own system at home, when it sounds right, it sounds right, and there's a definite rightness about the crayon. Yeah, it does. It sounds great. It's, as you say, pace, rhythm and timing, excellent. It's neutral without sounding cool. Um, there's a, a natural... It looks cool. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's uh, quite nicely styled. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one to, to addition if you're looking for an amp that adds nothing, takes nothing away. Um, it's not massive. It's not a huge integrated. There's no. not a two-box pre-powered design. If you've seen the picture that John's flashed up, then you'll understand why we say that. Yeah, it's it's a lovely amp and it's it is. well worth additioning if you're looking for a, a reasonably priced integrated with enough power to drive the majority of speakers. Yeah, you know? and it will drive most. Yeah. Um, moving on from there, the audio valve Balder 300s. Yeah, slightly different. Um, if it you, is like going from one end of the lightweight spectrum yeah. to the other end of fifty-two Absolutely. kilos per monoblock. Yeah, fifty-two spectrum. kilos, and if anyone's uh, struggling with heating their home, <laughs> uh, you, you could uh, stick a couple of those. Uh, front room now doubles as a sauna. Um, what was quite good because when we we ran these in for Shrajan at six moons before he got them. And they were in a small listening room, which if you've seen some of our other videos, you'll know it's kind of, it sits off the main showroom. And it's quite a small room. It and is, yeah. it, it actually, they arrived at the best time ever because it was when we had that massive cold Snow. snap. Yeah. And literally, you could walk into the listening room and it was, it was great. The heat was, it was great. Yeah. And, and joking aside, that you know, that it's not a silly amount of heat. It's a natural no. heat that you get from a valve. Of course. Given the size of the units... Um, we are being a bit flippant. Uh, yeah, we're being a bit facetious about it. However, not only do they look great, they absolutely blew us away with the sound. Um, it, there's not really any other 
power amp that I think we've definitely heard. one of the best sounds we've had in here. Yeah, it was three hundred watts per channel from a valve, valve amp, yeah. amplifier. Yeah. It's crazy, but the sound is effortless. I mean, they're not inexpensive. We're you know talking no. twenty thousand pounds for a pair yeah. in that kind of ballpark. Styling is great. The build quality is incredible, and if you read the review, um, Shrajan gives them a great write-up. Uh, yeah. Read it for yourself. Uh, moving on, uh, obviously the less loss echoes end uh, the reference uh, DAC. Now we've had the standard DAC here, mm -hmm. which was great. We've had a lot of positive feedback from clients. A very unique design. Um, it's an R2R uh, ladder design. Again, the Six Moon review is, is really good. There's a lot of their firewall technology inside this DAC, which is effectively power conditioning. Mm -hmm. I'm oversimplifying it by saying that, and again, we'll not go into too much depth here because we have a lot to cover in a relatively short space of time, but read the review. It, again, not an inexpensive product, but according to Srijan, it's certainly one of the best out there. Yeah, certainly they are to our uh, ladder DACs number of companies now reverting to that technology well, over Aqua. It. Is it yeah, yeah. Um, Aqua, there's a few other companies that are using that in place of a standard sort of maybe Sabre chipset. Yeah. And yeah, it's rough on a few feathers. And very quickly on Aqua, those DACs are phenomenal. I know we're kind of diversifying and jumping off um, the subject just temporarily, but... It's not unusual really, is it? <laughs> no, yeah. so there um, is actually a script here, believe it or not. <laughs> it's so. not really a script, it's just like a few pointers because there's, there's a lot to remember, but the Aquadax, I mean, the, the Lascala Optologic, um, which you've, Dave has actually just bought one himself, yeah. phenomenal deck. Yeah. And again, it's the R2R design, but you know, we're, we're diversifying. I want to then quickly move off the online reviews for, for a second, which were six moons, and currently in uh, the current editions of Hi-Fi News, and so there's the, just hot off the press today, the very latest Hi-Fi World, um, arriving last week, uh, Hi-Fi News, we've got reviews in both magazines. Hi-Fi News review, the Octa V16, it's a good review, the V16 is in essence, it's an ultra high-end headphone amplifier, but integrated amplifier, single-ended, 8 watts per channel uh, into 4 ohms. So it's about 4 watts into 8 ohms. Yeah. I mean, it's very low power. There's lots of pluses from the review, and it is a great amp. The way that we, an Octave, certainly feel you can use it, particularly as an integrated, is that they provide you, if you select the, the, the pre-out option, you can also... Um, by what's called a gain matching device. So you can use a high power power amp to do the base duties and then allow the single ended uh, V16, which is silent by the way, it is a, it, that in itself is an achievement. You know, single ended valve amp that makes no noise whatsoever. You put your head up to the speakers, there is nothing, there's no noise. Nice. But so use the uh, single ended design for the uh, mid range and treble and let your, another amp drive the bass, or unless you've got an ultra-efficient pair of speakers, then that's going to be a yeah, good choice. It is, it, it's a great product. All Octave products are brilliant. Yeah, we, they are. we are so passionate about these products here, and rightly so. Uh, moving on to the next magazine, um, which again, we just received this today. So it's the latest issue of Hi-Fi World. Uh, great publication, but we have in here a High Diamond, Diamond 7 speaker cable. Picks up their top award. Um, and again, I keep citing things that you've bought yourself, Dave. Yeah, I mean, we're, we are fortunate in that we work with these products every day and I mean, we, we have to pay for them, unfortunately. Um, but you've got that opportunity to buy and test whatever you want in your own home, in your own system. And I think the proof in the pudding is in the eating, as they say. And for me, hearing those cables, it was a revelation. Um, after, I mean, to take yeah. a quote from the review, um, this is, um, again, John Miles who wrote the review for uh, Hi-Fi World. He says, the high diamond cables uh, deliver, they do deliver in terms of performance alongside the revealing amplifier and loudspeakers. They are something of a revelation. Five Globes, amongst the best, you don't get a better review than that. And in fact, this is the second Five Globe review we've had for high diamond cables in recent months. Yeah. So, yeah, another good review. In the same issue, we have got... A review on 
the Audio Physic Classic 5s. Um, they get an excellent review, extremely capable, again superbly detailed, uh, big sound for their size, uh, great level of detail, brilliant sound staging which is always an Audio Physic strength. Yeah, very holographic, right through the range. And, and that's a £1,500 speaker. Yeah. It's great. In fact, the whole audio physic range currently, they just can't put a foot wrong. Again, moving on, and ongoing reviews, uh, would ask you all to visit the Hi Fi Pig website. Uh, Stuart Smith, who runs uh, that particular website, has a pair of Bunnicky W5 mm -hmm. SEs that he's reviewing personally. Uh, I believe that's that will be published before Munich, he's hoping to do. Great speakers again astonishing performance for something that, in fact again we've got Bonnicky's uh, over there, in fact John I'm sure will bring up a picture of some W5s yeah. uh, so you can see just how diminutive they actually are we just wowed every time we hear a pair of Bonnicky's yeah, from the W5 through to W13s, they've got a speaker for everyone and the W5s especially are probably the one that make people laugh the most because they look for a subwoofer, they look for the bigger speaker that's it's somehow, you know, working in this room. We are, we have got a lifting the lid plan for W8s, we're waiting on Sven sending us over, uh, he's got a cabinet cutaway yeah, that effectively yeah. shows you all the CNCing that goes on inside, yeah. it'll be easier for you to understand the, the Bunnicky technology when you see it actually at first hand, so if we, we have a, a, a shipment arriving from Switzerland in the next week or so and we're hoping that this cutaway is going to be there, and if we if we have that, then the next um, lifting the lid we do will be on the W8s on on Bonnicky in general. In fact, you, one of your clients fed back to you recently. It was a London client of yours that was comparing the W8s against some fairly stellar opposition. Yeah, yeah, the, he was and, and currently is. Um, Magicos was one of the speakers. Magicos uh, S3s. Um, he's waiting on the S1s coming in so he can try those at home. He's also had a few other fairly high-end yeah. speakers and he said that at the moment what he, he's enjoying the most is the Bonnicky is the Bonnicky W8s yeah. and those are not even the w 8 SEs. these are the W8s that are around the circa 5k mark yeah. the comments from them are musical, beguiling, great holographic sound staging, naturalness especially with the strings and vocals so yes yeah, fantastic feedback yeah. um, the, he's not looking to compare them exactly to the, the Magicos because of the different price point he was looking to test bass response in his room but now he's done that we're now you know chatting about something further up the Bonnicky range so yeah they can't really put a foot wrong Bonnicky no, no definitely not um, I'm going to just pause here and just check about timing wise That's the uh, We also have uh, on the back of our, an amazing hi-fi news review on the Pro 255i that was done by Ken Kessler. And in fact, just to very quickly talk about this, although it's not a current, what well, is current, it's the last magazine that um, before the current issue, but he loved the 255i. Yeah, he did. Um, he, he'd reviewed the 250 previously yeah the, the previous generation and liked it and just wondered you know how could they improve on it and you know I think in fairness to Ken he's been very fair in the review and he said to have improved that what they've said I thought about, it was extremely fair yeah very fair <laughs> um, so it's a great review it's well worth a read um, I think you know between and it that, is the world's most powerful class AB amplifier he did he actually said that that was true and between that amp and the Gato FM50s we had to get a crowbar to remove them from it Mr Kessler because he did enjoy them that much. Great products. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have currently with StereoNet UK, uh, another online resource, a Pro Orient ATI yeah. with the 40th anniversary. Yeah, that's a great amp. Um, retail on that is about 3,000, circa 3,000. Has a DAC integrated as well. Phono and stage. Phono stage. We've used it in our smaller dem room with the Classic 5s, with a CD transport and also streamed to it and it's phenomenal. It's going to be a good review. Yeah, it's not published yet, but phenomenal. it will be published very soon. We'll post it through social media so you can see it for yourself. So, moving off reviews for a second, I just want to very quickly talk about some new product launches. We mentioned Aqua earlier on in mm -hmm. our chat. They've got an S2, Lavocci S2 replacement coming out. Yeah, the S3. So, 
Aqua are one of the manufacturers that used the R2R ladder design. The S2 was the last unit, and I think they were still using a Bird Brown 1704 chipset. Yep. Um, apologies, Christian, if I've got that wrong, the number wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. They've now moved over so that every DAC within their range is an R2R ladder yeah, DAC. All discrete components. Yeah, with a directed decoder technology. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, see right now, price for price, they are probably the best DACs you can buy. I believe so. I haven't heard anything that's made me think differently. Um, it's a testament actually to Aqua that the likes of Ineos have demoed and debuted well, yeah, their statement. Exponer. Yeah, uh, they the brand new statement model. They used an Aqua formula, formula XHD. XHD. Uh, that was just last week. Yeah, Lamb Industries in the states uh, back in January used the formula in their statement system. So they're a company that's they're definitely gaining yeah. traction. Our customers. Love them. Love them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the S3 Discrete, it's going to retail about three, four approximately. It's being launched at Munich. Uh, we've got them on order. In fact, we will probably have them here next week. Uh, we'll get uh, them. Hi Fi World are going to be the first UK magazine to review uh, the S3. And I mean, the S2 was a revelation in itself. If the S3 is better, then I think a lot of DAC manufacturers will be having some sleepless nights over this new product. Yeah. Um, also, Lindemann have got a new product coming out mm -hmm. in Munich called the Lime Tree Range. I got quite excited because I thought it was going to be a new mixer for my gin that I have at the weekend. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. yeah. Fever Tree. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, the boss has Fever Tree, I have Sweps. It's <laughs> pay difference. <laughs> Lime Tree products, which are going to encompass uh, a new Rune Endpoint streamer. Mm. There's a phono stage. There's a smaller DAC. Uh, we haven't got the full details yet, but these are going to be sub one thousand pounds retail products. Once we've got more details, they'll be on our social media. You'll yeah. see it in the new section on our website. We also have some new brands that will be coming to Elite Audio. We can't tell you too much at this stage but announcements will be made certainly within the next week or so. Uh, there's a new turntable brand that's coming on board with us and I am really excited about this. Uh, great reviews, great looking products. It's exciting. I mean, you even said yourself you'd probably buy one. Yeah, maybe. Add to your aqua and high diamond cable collection. Yeah, no, the, the turntables do look fantastic. I think they remind me a lot of another manufacturer that I, I really like and I think they'd be a great opportunity for yeah. us and our, our clients here. We've got UK reviews already in, in the pipeline, a few little things to uh, finalise but we're, it, it's going to happen. There's also a potential new DAC brand coming on board, there's a potential new Valve brand coming on board. A streaming so, solution as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's exciting times, lots of new things. Very quickly, we just want to talk about our top selling products currently. Aqua we spoke about. I mean, every week there's an Aqua DAC getting sold. There's an inquiry almost every day. Yeah. Bernicke speakers are easily our best selling range of loudspeakers. Feedback from clients is astonishing. If you have the budget for a pair of Bernicke speakers, you would never regret buying a pair. They are just... Yeah. It almost goes far as to say life-changing, which is quite a sweeping statement, but people that have auditioned generally buy is probably our highest hit rate of audition versus purchase with Bonnicky. Yeah. Build qualities from all, but the sound, they just do something incredible. Yeah, they do. They, they sound great, and we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, as, as most of you will know, and the reason we can offer that is because really they don't come back. It's very rare that they do come back. It's probably... You know, ninety percent hit rate on those. Yeah, maybe more. Yeah, higher, I would say. Uh, Ineos have got some new products coming out. The new statement. They do. Again, one of our top selling brands, Ineos. Yeah, it's a great product. It gives people a flexibility of having a Rune Core. You don't have to run Rune on it. Obviously, you can use Ineos's own app and have Tide on Cobas integrated. And Rune Core is something important because there's not. Yeah. A lot of products that are Rune, the Rune Endpoint. Point. And that means you have to have runes running somewhere else on your network, yeah, active. Correct. So you can't just have it on there and then get rid of your laptop or turn your computer off. You have to have it running actively. Yeah. And that, you know, with home networks, it's another point in the signal path, if you like, that can create a technical issue. So having rune core in a device is great. And, yeah. you know, obviously the Inus does that. 
Uh, Gato continues to do well. The new speaker range, the FM 50s that we spoke about. Yeah. They've got the great review on yeah. Hi-Fi News. Great selling product. The FM 30s are selling really strong. But also, a lot of their existing products, the 250S, 400S, the PWR, monoblocks. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, great product. Yeah, I, mean, I think that, again, it's a testament to how good those products are in terms of aesthetics and sound that we've actually sold two pairs of monoblocks this year already and yeah. a product that is £11,500. Yeah, yeah. um, Paul Miller at Hi-Fi News actually liked it. Really them. rates them high. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, Editor's Choice, great product. Yeah. So Gato, yeah, look great, sound great. And the backup from the guys at Gato is brilliant as well. Yeah. They oh, look yeah. after the customers but really well. Amazing support. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so just to recap, there's a lot of exciting things happening. We will be shooting a proper lifting the lid next week. Uh, if we get the cut away from Bunnicky, it will be on the Bunnicky range. If not, then there's a multitude of things that we'll be looking at. Probably something that's just been reviewed so we can add some additional emphasis or relevance to the review itself. So please keep a look out on our social media. The other thing to say is that... Um, you know, visit our Facebook page if you haven't done so already, like our page, also sign up for our newsletter because there's special offers on there, also visit our eBay page, all our part exchanges and there's some great bargains in there right now, I mean this week alone yeah. we've taken in, I don't know, there's about 20 or 30 part exchanges and they're all now on eBay looking for owners, 24 months warranty in most of these, so again good opportunity there, but yeah, that's it, that's a lot in one week that's taken place, lots of new reviews. So keep a look out. Um, as always, thank you very much indeed for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back with another one next week. So it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. See you soon. Cheers. See you soon, Dave. in a few minutes and we get off this couch and go back into the middle of this. Jesus. Can you not move your chair just slightly away from me? Well, well I, I'd like to, but then I mean John then just next more of my pens when I do that. I hate open offices. I, I don't know where my pens go to. Mm. I think he eats them. He said he... What is it? He hates them. Mm. People buy anything on eBay. Eh? People buy anything from eBay. I know this channel's been selling a lot of pens in eBay recently. Mm -hmm.